A very, a very bleak picture. Before we continue, let's join to the conversation from Stockholm, Dr. Kamal Alabwani, a member of the Syrian opposition. Dr. Alabwani, good evening. Good to see you again. Good evening. We've been speaking a lot about Syria and sort of IS on the grander scale. Let's take a look for a moment a little more into Lebanon. There's been an ongoing fight of Hezbollah. I ran back to Hezbollah there in the Golan Heights. A lot of different groups uh, fighting each other alongside the Lebanese military. How are they faring? How is Hezbollah faring? I think Hezbollah, like ISIS, uh, kind of ideology, Islamic ideology, try to uh, his ideology in the state. So in Lebanon and in Syria, everybody try himself now. And because the land is empty from any authority, the people out of, of Syria, so everybody try his revenge, his uh, fanatic ideology. And uh, Hezbollah now uh, working for make a a, 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 new, a new front was Israel through Jordan. I think we suffer from incubation, Iran incubation, and uh, we fight them. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Alabwani, Ali Wakit here in studio would like to ask you a question as well. Uh, Dr. Kamal, I wanted to ask you, what was your uh, uh, reaction when you saw the very important delegation of parliamentaries from uh, France visiting uh, uh, President uh -huh. Assad, meeting with him, sharing the same weariness of the uh, uh, Islamic State, of the uh, jihadists? It seemed that also countries that were uh, uh, working with you, were financing you, uh, for, uh, were uh, uh -huh. collaborating with you, are now understanding that President Assad can be part of the solution and not part of the problem? Uh, I think everybody can say that because everybody uh, suffers from uh, terrorism, maybe a uh, uh, friend with the enemy. So I think, I think from our point of, of view, I think Assad is, is, is the, the main problem. Al-Assad uh, uh, prepares the land for this chaos. So uh, ISIS is kind of revenge. So if we want to solve this, this problem, we have to treat the cause. The cause is al-Assad. Without removing al-Assad, nobody from majority will fight ISIS or fight any, any, any uh, terrorism, terrorism uh, organization because, because al-Assad dismissed the people, kills the people, kills the majority. So uh, ISIS didn't dismiss them, dismiss the minority. Dr. So we, if we want, yeah. Dr. Alabani, so if Say in, a, in some people's ideal world, if Assad were to be pushed out of power four plus yeah. years into the civil war, what do you think Syria would look like then? Because the main problem that, uh, that has existed since the beginning and that we're discussing often is what's the alternative? Uh, if we speak about this Ms. Bashar Assad, that means we have a process for rebuild Syria with all the component of the, of the society. That's why we will be unified against terrorism and against the chaos. So this is the process. The process is remove him in a process for rebuild Syria, not the process remove him and uh, give a chance to the fanatic to take the, the, the power. So we need we need Marshall, Marshall project for rebuild Syria. Start from removing the cause, removing Bashar al-Assad. This is the way to resolve the problem. I'll let Without Ali this, we have to spend Dr. a lot Kamal, of time. Uh, from what yeah. we call the, the Arab Spring, we saw that uh, Hosni Mubarak uh, was sent away after a couple of weeks of uh, clashes in the streets. Uh, same for the uh, Tunisian uh, president. Uh, uh, Muammar al-Qaddafi, after weeks of fights, uh, uh, was sent away on, uh, and also in Yemen. I'm asking you, do you don't you believe that because of some local uh, popular support within Syria, uh, President Assad is surviving. You are accusing, of course, Russia and Iran. But on the other hand, you received huge amount of money, huge uh, uh, trainings, huge convoys of arms from the Saudis, from the Qataris, trained in Turkey, trained in, in Jordan. And it seems that because of some certain support in Syria, your president is still in place. This support make a problem in Syria because uh, if you send only weapons and only uh, money, you you uh, you uh, 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 abuse the people because we need to, we need more than that. We need we need authority. We need leadership. We need uh, 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 building the society. So they insist in sending money. 
to corrupt, to uh, to the fanatic, to Muslim brother, Brotherhood, especially to them. That's why they prevent the people of Syria to create their leaders. This is the problem. Also, we need we need invest in culture. So we suffer from deterioration and suffer from the fanatic ideas. The fanatic ideas come from Wahhabi Saudi Arabia, you know. So I think I think but they send money with mixed Saudis. with the Islamists. Yeah. You are partners with the Saudis. You share we the same partner. vision. <laughs> we are, we are partners of them, but they they have a very fanatic uh, uh, culture in in their in their society and uh, export it. So you know you know هي الأمر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر. You know uh, uh, <laughs> this this ideology come from uh, from the society from the desert, not not come from Syria. ISIS is artificial. ISIS Doctor, is not serious. Dr. Alabwani, yeah. unfortunately, we have to let you go. But as always, great to have you. And uh, see you soon for, for the continuation of this discussion.